What's up guys, and today we are restarting the EOLR series because there were some poor solutions shown last time for a couple of cases, and I forgot a couple, so it's good for me I can refresh, and uh, it's also good for you because then you're going to know the best solutions. So, let's get into it. So, for this EO case, there are two different ways to set up to an arrow which is the case we always go through. So we have the slicing in the same direction, like so, which is, this will be M prime U2 M prime. We're always going to be doing U2s in this case because we want to preserve that there are four bad edges. We just need to move them around a little bit. And so M prime U2 M prime. We can also do M prime U2 M, which is slicing in two different directions. So I think of those as the two, those are the two main ones. Um, all And those are the two ones, but you can do them from the back. So I guess you could say there are four if you want to. Um, and now we're going to move on to this specific case here where we see that we have one in the one LR edge in the top layer and one in the bottom. Obviously, it can be in the back. This one could be anywhere in the top layer. Um, you're going to want to put the LR edge on the right before you start. And then you can do any uh, of those triggers and it will set up to a good arrow. I personally am a fan of just taking this and putting it in the top. So an M prime U2 M in this case. However, if it was from the back, you would do an M U2 M prime, like so. And then you would have yourself a good arrow like this. And you'd put them in the bottom. Our next case, the left and right edges are adjacent in the top layer. And for this one, we can you can put them anywhere you want, but it doesn't matter because you can do any of the four not, not, not any of the four, sorry. You'll have, you'll have a LR edge in the middle slice, and you'll have a non-LR edge in the middle slice. What you're going to want to do is take the non-LR edge in the middle slice and move it to the bottom. Now there's two ways we can do that. M prime U2 M works, but M U2 M also works. So we have two options for this case. Uh, I'm personally a fan of M prime U2 M. It just is easier to do. However, it's important to know them both. Uh, in case you ever need to cancel or learn EOLRB. So, that's that's our objective here. And when we do that, we then have a mediocre error, which we can solve. It's also worth noting that when you put, put this in the bottom, the LR edge on the side is going to flip sides because of the U2. You can see the U2 moves it over there. And then we'll put that uh, onto the bottom, like so. And then we can get EOLR. So, for our next case, we have the LR edges both opposite in the top layer instead of adjacent, like the previous case. And for this one, we're going to place them in the middle slice, like so. And then, we're going to either uh, do an M prime or an M, which will solve EO. Now, the centers are misoriented, but EO is still solved. And so we can just treat this like we would normally during uh, LSE where we just insert this edge to the bottom, and we have our EOLR solved. So, as you can see, that's quite efficient. Despite the fact that it's not a good arrow setup, it's still quite efficient and good. For our next case, they're opposite, but they're not on top, they're on bottom. They couldn't really be adjacent on bottom because you've got first block and second block solved. But, here they are. And for this one, there is no good setups to any arrow cases. And so what we have to do is we have to uh, set up to a different EOLR case. And in this in this case, we're going to be doing uh, M prime, U prime, M prime, like that. Uh, basic, basically, it's an M in one direction, a U move in either direction, and then another M prime, but it has to be in the same direction. And then you'll get this case with the bad edges here and here, and we'll learn this later on in the series. But you do you solve this with an M and then the U in the same direction. M. So think of it, you're going up, over, up, over, and then you're gonna go down, over, down, over. And now you have a uh, arrow, good arrow, so. So here's here's how I, I always just remember it like this. Up, over, up, over down, over, down, over, and now you have a good case. 
a good arrow case. So that one's like kind of a three-step case. You got to set up to a different EOLR, and then you can solve it from there. But it still works. And so there you go. It was. So we'll bring it to the front. So since they're since it's matching, we bring the. Yeah, this guy's really cool. I wonder if he's got like a Discord server. What? He's got a Discord server. Oh, okay, I gotta join that up. Okay. Okay. Oh snap! Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hey, we're in. We're in. Well, thanks for watching my EOLR tutorial. If it helped you, then like and subscribe. If it didn't help you, feel free to comment down below, and I can try and help you out. Um, that's all for me.